Hi, I'm Kyle. Today we'll be assembling the electric valve controller package. This placement of components will provide the smallest footprint and the most efficient use of tubing. To build this EVC package, you will need the following parts, components, and tools. First, we'll install the fittings onto each component, then mount them to the valve body. For all the tubing connections, apply primer and Loctite. For all non-pressurized threaded connections, use thread tape. Put the I to P in a vise. Mount a straight connector in the inlet side of the I to P on the same side as the wires. Mount another straight connector in the opposite side outlet. Remove the two quarter inch plugs from the valve body and use them to plug the remaining open inlet and outlet of the I to P. Remove the I to P from the vise and insert the supply gas regulator. Put a nipple in the inlet of the supply gas regulator and a straight connector in the output. Now remove the supply gas regulator and put the drip pot in the vise. Put an elbow in the inlet of the drip pot. Thread the nipple of the supply gas regulator into the drip pot. Put the pressure transducer in the vise. Now install an elbow in the inlet of the pressure transducer. Secure the valve. If you use a vise, mount the valve body so you can still access the ports. Install an elbow in the upstream and downstream of the valve body. Install an elbow in the underside of the valve actuator. Using a 9 16 and an 11 16 inch wrench, bolt the bracket of the I to P to the top works. Do not fully tighten the bolts at this time. It will help when installing the tubing later. Bolt the I to P to the bracket. Use thread tape on the nipple of the I to P. You may need to use a 764 Allen wrench to remove the board of the electric pilot so that you can feed the wires through more easily. Now, mount the electric pilot to the I to P.
Now mount the pressure transducer to the bottom of the pilot. Install the thread tape on the pressure transducer threads in such a way that it does not unravel when installing it. Now we're hooking up the wires from the I to P to the pilot. Use wire strippers to remove the insulation of the wires. Connect the communication wires from the I to P to the analog output of the electric pilot. The analog in is where you connect the transducer to the pilot. This is where you will connect 24 volt power to the pilot. Now mount the drip pot and the supply gas regulator onto the valve. The output of the supply gas regulator should be pointing towards the front of the valve. Now we can bend and install the tubing. Connect the tubing from the upstream port of the valve to the inlet of the drip pot. Then, tube downstream pressure to the pressure transducer. Tighten the bolts on the mounting bracket now that the tubing is connected. Now tube the supply gas regulator to the I to P. Then the I to P to the valve actuator. To monitor upstream pressure, remove the tubing to the downstream side. Instead, connect the upstream tubing to the transducer by adding a quarter inch nipple and T connector to the transducer. Then to the T connector to the drip pot. To speak with an expert about this product, please contact your local Camry store or authorized distributor. <laughs>